Hello, y'all. Good afternoon. Y'all already know what we finna get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. This is going to be a psychic dream message. And I'm gonna break down. We're gonna do a message for each character that was in the dream. Now, the dream that I had, it was like a gathering or a party. But there were different people there. Um, some that you were interacting with and some people that you just, you know, see interacting. And we're going to break down each character because it was something about each individual that was significant. So that's how we're going to do this message. But this is a psychic dream message here. split the deck it was the sun and the five of wands so some uh, some chaos is, is going to be illuminated here okay so in the dream first you had um, a family member that was uh, you have a family member that's kind of upset with you and they don't, they feel like y'all should be more closer than what y'all are, but y'all are not close. And you can tell that they kind of feel a way about it, but this, this particular cousin or family member still provided Food, like they may want to get food with you, or food could be significant. So, we have the Knight of Swords. Maybe you feel like this family member went against you here with this Knight of Swords at the top. And in this dream, this family member did confront you and ask, like, basically, like, what's up? So this is a confrontation card too as well. Or they plan to take action towards you to see, you know, what's up. There may be this 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 particular cousin could have they could feel guilty because they could have been manipulated and backstabbing you or something like that. Yeah, splitting the deck, the devil. Maybe this cousin has been somebody who has you know, maybe oppressed you in some way, shape, or form before. So let's see. What's going on with this cousin and the collector? So you have a family member that think that y'all should be more than what y'all are. What's going on with this cousin and this family member? wanted to come out this slid out and this was what was in the beginning that I was talking about so yeah this cousin could have went against you by the way of their mouth you know they could have been manipulated but they could feel guilty about stabbing you in the back They could have took an opportunity to tell some type of lie or create some type of heartbreak for you. They could have upset you that they were an enemy or working with an enemy with the Seven of Swords. But it was some type of betrayal. Look, Three of Pentacles. They was teaming up with somebody. They could have been lying on you. Um, they, you know, took an opportunity to hang with the crowd and team up and go against you basically so this cousin stabs you in the back
and it could have broke your heart. It could have upset you that this cousin would do this to you. Whatever this was, it upset you. And this could be why you're not dealing with this particular family member. Because they teamed up against you. They broke your heart. They went against you. Yeah. And it was unexpected for you that, that this family member would even do this. Whatever this was that you got knowledge of, of this family member, it, it broke your heart. And that's why you probably ain't been dealing with them and y'all ain't been that close. Because if somebody could easily be manipulated and uh, form a plan to go against you, be in on the plan, backstabbing, betray you, just was waiting to lie on you, waiting to be an enemy towards you. Um... And teaming up with others, yeah, that upset you. It broke your heart. That was that's a tower because it was even unexpected that to you that this person would even do this to you. It's like dang. And then this person thought that they was being sneaky with this team up to being an enemy, like. I don't know what this person expect. Because obviously it was like whatever y'all had, whatever y'all had, they took it as, I mean, shit, it was nothing but a title to them. They ain't treat you like family for real. They felt like they got a victory doing this to you too. And what it could have also been unexpected was you getting the victory, right? And you calling judgment on something and laying something to rest for a sword. You remain strong and this is how you balanced it out. By laying whatever this is between you and your family member to rest. And this person could regret petty gossiping about you. This person could regret... Um, Dealing with other slightly, you know, because people was being competitive. A flock of birds coming up against you and they joint, they hopped on the bandwagon basically. And they can regret doing that. But you were spiritually guided to leave this family member out in the cold. That's why you don't fuck with them. It's called karma. It, it was faded. You made a change. You see through the illusions of people and you let go and you walk away. That's why you walked away from this family member. And you walked away being badass, full of life, love, and possibilities, working hard on whatever you got going on. You were spiritually guided to lay whatever this was to rest with this family member because they was teaming up against you. See, people be thinking that they being sneaky and they going to get away with shit and think that um, sometimes people ain't going to know shit or find, out or find out shit, but no. People will. People will. And especially protected people. People that are protected by the divine. You could think you being sneaky teaming up against them with other people and things of that nature. And they, this person could have even teamed up with a couple against you with talking shit and all of that. But even when, especially with somebody that is um, protected by the divine and blessed and spiritually awakened and emotionally awakened, they can sense stuff. They know. And it could have it could have even weighed heavy on this individual that you did that that they even had to lay this to rest with you. It did stress them out, but they had to do what they had to do. They were protected by the divine, and this is how they know what you was doing, even though you was trying to be sneaky. See, 
the divine let them know the divine protected them from from you and they listen to spiritual guidance to get the hell away from you because you could att attack them with some type of group it could be a church group it could be um you know a family community it could be a couple you attack them and they know it you attack them you hope it you hope things will end for them and shit like mm -mm. so they don't they don't mess with you that's why they know the risk that you took they know that you was in competition with them they know the communication that you had here they know with this high priestess they know whether they are high priest or high priestess they got the knowledge see the divine let them know that you was a snake and that you was really jealous, so they got the fuck from around you. So you can want it to be whatever you want it to be, and you can feel guilty now and this and this and that, but you also didn't have no love for your family member because the first chance you got to be a sneaky-ass enemy, you took it to dog your family. That's why you ain't, That's why your cousin don't bang with you. You wanted their cycle of abundance to end and shit, but your your family member was spiritually resilient. They got drive, they got passion, and you tried to cause chaos for them. You communicated this. You were being competitive with them. So they have knowledge of past struggles and people being jealous of their work and shit and, and, and trying to um, oppress them because they got that spiritual guidance that it was going down. So this is why this family member don't bang with you because they know. That's why. They know. They were spiritually told who the hell you were. They got that inkling and they followed that inner guy. Something was off with you, so they got the fuck away from you. You or this family member, the signs can be a Aries, a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Virgo, a Sagittarius. Capricorn, Aquarius, and Leo. They were protected from you by the divine. So that's why you shouldn't try to snake your family member. try to talk about them to hang with the in crowd and shit and maybe you would have uh, a better cousin relationship with your cousin if you wasn't trying to play them behind their back you broke your cousin heart that's why sacrifice the relationship and they got enlightened about what you did that's why and you know too because you feel a little bit guilty so I don't know why you trying to act like you don't understand why y'all don't have a better relationship you went against them so next there was a guy um, at this function, right? This is a guy that you used to talk to, or whatever the case may be. You used to talk to this guy, and somebody could have been speaking on you, or you could have been interested in somebody, and this individual was fine. They looked it good, um, and they had money or whatever, but this person that you used to talk to, 
basically called dibs on you like you was theirs, right? They called dibs on you like you was theirs. They, they was basically trying to gatekeep. But this particular person is in a whole relationship while trying to gatekeep you and cock block you from people wanting to, you know what I'm saying, deal with you. Or even if you liked somebody and you wanted to deal with them, they'll try to slide in and, you know, throw shade or cock block. <laughs> because they don't want your status to change here. If you're single, they don't want, they don't want you to make some changes and get booed up. But the thing is, this individual is booed up. That's the crazy part. So you got somebody that's trying to gatekeep you. And we're going to see about that. What's going on with this uh, person trying to gatekeep? Somebody else. Why they? Another sneaky. <laughs> Some more betrayal. Like seven of swords. Another person trying to be sneaky, betraying you. Crazy. Page of Swords. This person be watching you too. This person definitely be watching you. Listen, they act like they be trying to act like everything fine to you. But they be stabbing you in the back here. You could even be, you could, uh, you could, I don't know if you got knowledge of this or not, but follow your intuition with this. Whatever this is, you need to follow your intuition. And then this person, they look at you as like a mistress or something. But they trying to gatekeep you why you why they're why they are with somebody. But they they don't even look at you as they should. Like it's it's weird. But you could tell you definitely are single. This is at the top of the deck. Two, this is somebody that you let go of and walked away from, even if y'all was just communicating. For some of y'all, if y'all not aside to this individual, some of y'all can't actually be high priestesses and y'all single. It also gives this person satisfaction that you are single. If anybody is interested in you or they see that you interested in anybody, they're going lie. <laughs> Confirmation, I'm telling you, they'll go tell some lies on you, do some sneaky shit. To try to end that shit. I'm telling you. Whoever this is is crazy. Because they literally. They literally is dealing with somebody. And they don't look at you how they should look at you. You know what I'm saying? Like. <sighs> no respect. This person is basically an enemy. They could feel like. Oh. They trying to gatekeep you. And they like you. But. They actually an enemy. Look, the emperor. They actually an enemy because they they going around telling lies and shit. And then they don't want you to. They don't want to see you happy here. Six of wands. They feel like. <laughs> like. It's just crazy. They feel like. They just want the victory over you somehow. This is a tyrant. For real. This emperor. This person could even have a new life and a pregnancy or a new relationship with somebody else here. They do. They got a new life, a pregnancy, new relationship, call themselves being in love with somebody else. But they still sad, feeling entrapped. They got a superficial situation going on, something possessive. They got a whole family in a partnership with somebody but they be throwing salt on you like this is crazy look at this they got a whole pregnancy whole new life 
but they still in the five of cups with it and the eight of swords with it it's superficial as hell whoever they with them they like possession it's possession here um we got the ace of pentacles with the empress this is who they they coming out as the emperor and the empress ten of pentacles or this is you that they trying to hold on to but i'm getting this is also you that they trying to hold on to but i'm also seeing is this the situation that they into as well you know what i'm saying with this family card they got a whole family with somebody else and partner with somebody else and share their abundance with somebody else but they trying to hold on to you at the same time because you could be you could be an empress too as well but this could be something that they want in their mind see with this cloud this is what they think about this is why they still sad with in whatever situation that they in and that they got see they think about this abundance and family life and partnership with you it's like a dream but this is what they're sharing with somebody else this person is possessive over you while being in a partnership with somebody else while giving passion to somebody else loving um loving and have sharing complete happiness with somebody else it, it could be chaotic and they could argue and clash or whatever but it's still a higher form of commitment with somebody else whether it's chaotic or not and this is the truth ace of swords so this person trying to be possessive over you while they is with another giving them everything and that's not cool. Shoot. Maybe you need to make an announcement. Because this person being sneaky behind your back and shit. Yeah, this person be watching you. This person be watching you while they're in a karmic, demonic. And, and listen, whatever they in, it is karmic. This person could have watched you walk away and leave their ass out in the cold. Because they sitting up here with this queen of wands, devil, a karmic. And here go, here go them, king of wands with the magician. Because they, they are manipulative. They manipulative as fuck. It's a manipulator and they be trying to manipulate and, and control shit here with this magician shit. But this person is with a whole karmic. This person is a karmic. This person is demonic and karmic. This person is obsessive. This person is tied to the devil. This person is materialistic. This person... Mm -mm. This is this person is cruel. The whole nine, and this is who they with. But they watching you though. And then it's like even a hint of this person be talking about you. Like being petty, like trying to talk shit, trying to make somebody that they with feel better. This is a cold hearted uh woman that they with. They talk, they pet they, they both of these people petty gossip about you. Like you the topic of discussion in the, in these individuals' relationship. Yap, yap, yap. This person even talk about you with a flock of birds, they friends this birds. Or other people that they know, this birds, and they try to act like they telling the truth or uh, like they know something because of what the fuck this man be saying to them. And they don't know shit. This person be telling everybody how... 
this man left you out in the cold for them and they look better and they better than you and la 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 and this man really make this person feel like that He, he, he left her out in the cold for me. I look better. I got more. He the leading man in my life. But this chick getting manipulated herself because this man really see you as his empress here. And he trying to gatekeep why he dealing with this karmic, demonic person. This materialistic person that's bonded to the devil. This karmic. Basically. But this is somebody that they could have went through some past struggles with. Or I don't know. But it's just like, mm -mm. this is who this person is dating. I'm telling you. This is who this person is dating, who they go on dates with, and all of that. But here it is. They sitting up here. This is horrible. And then and then the chick even sitting up talking about you. Not even knowing where her man head really at, though. Getting full-blown manipulated. This is sad. It looked like this though. It looked like a happy partnership and shit. But I'm telling you, what's really going on is the five of wands. That's what it's really like. But they put on for other people. <laughs> they put on for other people. This man ain't happy. And this chick lame because Leah, look, because she went for being the Queen of Swords, right? And it boosted her confidence that this man left you out in the cold for her. It made her feel beautiful. <laughs> oh, shit. She got to talking that shit like I look better, I got more, yabba 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 ya. <laughs> she was going. And whole time this man wanna run away. Yeah, this is who this person is dating. Yeah, this motherfucker stressed out. <laughs> this person burden and that's their karma and they panicking and worrying here they panicking and worrying about you selling away you expanding you getting romance because you could have called judgment on this situation and you blocked this shit out because you know this person went against you though you must know this person went against you in some type of way but i don't think you know how deep this go i don't think you know this person is gatekeeping you just know they went against you because they juggled you and they chose somebody over you for abundance and greed and this is the truth with the four of pentacles and the ace of uh, pentacles, this person did this for abundance and greed. Ace of swords. That's it. They hopped into a new, uh, they uh, hopped into a new relationship to work it out and build because of money. And this is being illuminated here. Yeah, this victory that everybody feel like, whoever this couple, the victory that this woman even feel like she got. It's the moon. It, it got hit and it, it's hitting intentions all over it. This man is infatuated with somebody else. But 
this person worried about you taking action elsewhere and you being romanced and doing whatever with somebody else. Because you didn't call judgment and block this shit out. You could have had some type of renewal with that with splitting the deck, seeing a star. But this is this person's. This person gonna get some type of karma too. Because that is just not what you do. You do not do that. This is dead wrong. I'm <laughs> Y'all, this is dead wrong. So, some y'all, if y'all been like feeling like, dang, what's going on with you know, with my love life, or what's going on with this or that, it's because somebody been trying to control your stuff and manipulate your stuff. Any way they can, even even being a magician and telling lies and manipulating and trying to make you seem unappealing to everybody else, even including the chick that they with. They try to <laughs> they try to make it seem like you unappealing to everybody else. And they be, ugh. Whoever that is is just ugh. That's a shame. And then it's so crazy because, listen, y'all, y'all ain't gonna, and listen, I wrote it down just so y'all don't think that I'm on no bullshit. This is all written down. This is all written down to people at the party. One read party, and I was gonna break down each individual. Now, look, I'm about to do this next segment next because this is so trippy. Because now that that came out in them cards about the guy who was cock blocking you right on the list of the people at the party so y'all can see it that i ain't on no bull on the list that the people on the list of the people at the party there was a girl at the party and she kept saying how bad she was like she the baddest i'm the baddest blah 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 but she had on this makeup right and her face like it kind of like looked at ashy like the makeup made her look like you know, like that funeral home makeup. But she was just like, she just kept saying it. She was like, I'm the baddest. I'm the baddest. And then she was talking about how she can get this fine paid man. So we finna, uh. <laughs> we finna see what's going on with this girl. Like, just like her makeup. She looked like, you know how, like, a little bit of powder white? Like, that powder, I don't know. So, we finna do that part next, even though that wasn't next on the list that I was gonna do. I mean, I just showed y'all up, up to the camera. That wasn't next on the list of what I was gonna read. But since that came out, that gotta have some type of comparison here. Since that came out within that, um, that couple's reading. So, we gonna skip to this girl. Yeah, we gonna skip to this girl. What's going on with this girl that kept saying that she was the baddest, I'm the baddest, and then her makeup, like, it was, like, kind of ashy. What's going on with this girl? Queen of Wands, Temperance, Nine of Swords. See, this, see, that person came out as the Queen of Wands, too, with that man, Queen and King of Wands. So this is who this person is supposed to be in this harmonious relationship with right but whoever this is is really panicking and worrying here about something balancing out and you getting gifted here this person is actually stressed out about you look stressed out and in the tower this person is stressed out here this little devil she's she's scared of the change that could occur this person is scared of the change that could occur here with the tower, with the devil, and with the will of fortune. This person is scared of the change because they came out as uh, the devil in the last read. This is a karmic. This karmic is actually scared about what could end up occurring 
the changes that can end up happening. Like, but they're worried. They just worried about the abundance. They ain't worried about the love here with the nine of pentacles. They just worried about the abundance for real. They're worried about not being in some form of control. This feminine got Sagittarius. This this feminine could either be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, or a Taurus. That's the signs that I see so far. So this person is really worried about their relationship here. But they definitely, because they that's this is where all their hope is in. They could be giving this man gifts and stuff, or this man could be giving them gifts. Like it make them feel good that this person is holding back from you. That make them feel better here. This person is delusional. This person do feel like they badass though. I'm telling you, they was talking that shit at that party. Like, yep, I'm the baddest. This person greedy. Greedy and possessive. This person is a lost. This person is lost. This is a lost woman. But something, some type of cycle may end up ending because this woman needs to learn and grow here. This is a lost woman. Yeah. And when she be communicating, she be like, we so happy. She's so infatuated. We so happy. But it's really the Ten of Swords. This person could be backstabbing this person. Or this the other person is really backstabbing them. But it's really the Ten of Swords. It's really like this relationship is really ruined. But when they be communicating, they be like, yeah, that's why the Seven of Cups is coming right up under her. They be like, we so happy and... Stuff is just flowing with us and we just so happy. So much joy. <laughs> but it's the ten of swords. This this whatever this is, it's a dead end. This shit can't go nowhere. Whatever this is, it's really like a dead end. But this person is holding on to this man really strong here with the strength and the king of wands. This person is holding on to death here because it's dead. So this is a dead relationship that somebody is trying to show up as is so harmonious and beautiful. They could even they could even add other people within it, you know. Like maybe some type of threesomes. They could pay people to have threesomes, pay people to join, you know, pay people to work with them. They could even also team up with people to have people lie for them or, you know, lie with them too. But they're gonna get karma too. If anybody try to team up and help this woman with anything, they're going to change their will of fortune and fate. Or they could have did this to change somebody's fate here to get a renewal. That's what they did. They did this to get some type of renewal here. They demand to see they got karmic friends too that they party with. That they had communicating something here out of jealousy, five of swords. I'm telling y'all, but something going to end up getting laid to rest here. Them and they karmic friends. They be partying. Something gonna be. Yeah, this was this was like an unexpected renewal with whatever this relationship is here. But it was in a form of, you know, control. 
something gonna get laid to rest anyway. But this person, they be turning up. And when they turning up, they be like, I'm the baddest. And we're so happy. <laughs> Our relationship is beautiful. Sunshine, rainbows, and drinks. And money and power and love. See, this person be watching you. Because <laughs> you you showed up as that nine of cups in the last reading. In the last part of the read. They try to watch you in secrecy. This person watch you, though. It's hidden that this person be watching you. See, you this empress, like I said. They feel like they made you miss an opportunity or something. They also watch you mad. They watch you in disgust, discontentment. They don't like your calling or the partnerships you have. Whatever you do, whatever good news you get or anything, they don't like it. So they try to block you off too somehow they team up look they got a team up here to try to they an enemy this person your enemy too <sighs> this person in slight competition with you too they be watching you trying to slightly compete with you but they do it slightly so you know they don't want people to you know They be talking about you too, being single, like, she's single, he with me. And everything is fine with us, but you see the Ten of Swords all in it. And then the Four of Pentacles just holding on here. Like I said, holding on to something that's dead. It's not a life. And then this person getting juggled too. Like this dude is messing, is juggling this person with other people or places or things. Like this person really be elsewhere with it. Whether this person is, whether this man is juggling this person with another individual or whether this man, um, is you know juggling things and other like you know making up excuses yeah this woman gonna be heartbroken here the three of swords is coming right out this woman gonna be heartbroken and sick with it this person is trying to block you off too they want to want they want you to let go of Whatever partnership, they want you to let it go. They going against you here. They want you to be unstable. So they figure if you're unstable, you're going to basically let go. But don't worry because whatever this person trying to block off with you, it would block off for you, it will be healed. It will be healed. So ashy face is not gonna be able to, you know, get away with doing stuff to you. Whatever it is, it's gonna heal here. This person is trying to hold on by the way of some form of pregnancy or something like that. They could have even lost a baby or something. Something is going to end. 
And it's just going to be a lesson learned to whoever this is. It was trying to strong arm a renewal by the way of pregnancy here. Something is going to blow up in this karmic's face and they friends. Because they friends going to get karma for whatever they was communicating to out of jealousy. This person called they friends and they friends was just hopping on the bandwagon to be jealous too. But whatever you have going on, it's, it's going to heal. So don't worry about it. You you will be blessed. If you lost anything on account of this karmic, that's going to end. It will be restored. You, you will have the victory here. So don't worry about it. Yeah, see, with this higher font, because this is them. With this, with this higher font, this relationship is superficial, like I said. It's superficial, like I said, and it could be something that this individual is trapped in. Who knows? Or they feel trapped. It's forced, whatever it is. And whatever this is, is going to be suffering in it. It's a superficial, painful relationship. That deep down, this man regrets. So it's just like, okay. Yeah, somebody, somebody went with some sort of plan impulsively here with this fool. Somebody could feel like a fool, like they hopped into something impulsively with this person here. There's also a plan to go against you here and maybe to even jump you here with the two of pentacles and the five of wands somebody want to fight argue confront you whatever the case may be it's this queen of pentacles this person in this higher form of commitment but if they try to do that they're going to have an unexpected tower here this karmic because it's coming out as the devil it, it, it just all be in a row all the time with this person with the devil coming out what's hiding behind the devil yep the three of cups them and they friends but it's gonna be an ending for them if they you know there's gonna be something unexpected in the ending for their ass that's on them that is on them they want to communicate some type of fight they could even i don't know Yeah, this person in Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. This person fell out a loss somehow. Karma, Will of Fortune. I don't know. They could want to call you or something, but if you if you end up talking to whoever this is, keep in mind that they was jealous and they tried to uh, have a victory over you. They was the cause of some of these past struggles. They was trying to battle you. They could have wanted to block your intuition or block you off. Okay, you could be this Ace of Pentacles because that's what showed up in the last read and they wanted you left out in the cold. So just remember. Forgive, but don't you dare forget what the heck was going on. Don't forget what went on. That's if you do end up talking to this girl. All right. We have here 
we have checkups. So somebody was uh, about to get a checkup. Two as well. But they couldn't find their insurance. Couldn't find insurance. They was about to get a checkup though. But they couldn't find insurance. We gonna see what that was about. What was that about? Was gonna get a checkup. But couldn't find insurance. Seven of Cups couldn't find it. Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? They couldn't find it here. And then we have the tower. So something unexpected here. What's going on with this um, checkup at the doctor's and couldn't find the insurance card or maybe couldn't find the keys or ID or whatever the case may be. What's going on? We have the seven of pentacles with the magician here. Yeah, seven of swords. There's some type of lie. Okay, it's some type of lie with this seven of swords being at the top. This person trying to manipulate something. So, and then this look like somebody waiting at the doctor's office. This person be having like a little attitude. Maybe it's the hormones or something. I don't know. But arms folded, you know, waiting at the doctor's office to be checked right um they they whoever this is they want their hard work to pay off they could have did something manipulative to try to even get pregnant in the first place with this magician because then we got the seven of swords something is sneaky something is a lie Make sure if you end up getting a DNA test on something, get your own separate by yourself or something somehow. Don't just only go off of what this person got going on, just to make sure. Because also paternity fraud. But this person could have also did something like, you know how they you know, go to people to try to get pregnant and stuff. And this person could have also lied about something. Seven of uh, swords. This person could have lied about a pregnancy before and tried to end up, you know, getting pregnant now. Somebody also stomach could not be feeling well. Yeah, look, splitting the deck, the damn four swords. Look like somebody gonna may, may end up getting checked in in the hospital. Somebody stressed out. Yeah, some type of lies, seven of swords. For some of y'all, there's complications going on with a pregnancy. For others of y'all, somebody's stomach just hurt. They just ain't feeling well, feeling dizzy. For some of some of the rest of y'all, somebody is sick because of all of this manipulation and magician work that took its toll on them. So they get in, they they might have to end up getting uh, admitted in the hospital here. All that manipulation and magician work and all that stuff that they was doing and working hard against and thought they was being sneaky with. See, you don't have to see. This is what people don't understand. Sometimes you don't have to get got back in the way that you think you're going to get got back. See, something is coming back on somebody and they not doing too well. See, five of swords empty victory and then the devil the devil got an empty victory here and this is the ace of swords this is the truth 
the devil got an empty victory here and whatever this is. But I've, I see a couple of things going on with a couple of different people. Because for somebody, something is like kind of unknown. You really don't know what's going on. But it's really because of this backfire. This backfire, this magic that somebody was doing. For others, somebody could be miscarrying and there's some complications going on with the baby. Somebody also lied about mis a miscarriage. And then it's also somebody who was uncertain about who the child father was and they know that they was being manipulative, right? So they, they got an abortion and laid something to rest here. They sneak and got one. They snuck and got one. Somebody don't even know that they person got an abortion here. Whatever they tried to do to go against somebody. Yeah, for some, some, some. Somebody is panicking and worrying that somebody going to find out here what somebody did to get a family. Also, what somebody may be paid for to terminate something. Yeah, because somebody was feeding somebody some type of illusion, seven of cups. That's for some people. I'm just telling y'all what I see. And then I'm also seeing, because I see the Eight of Swords in my mind, somebody need to stop doing uh, demonic and magician work or they're going to end up in a, um, in a psych work that they're going to want to escape. But somebody definitely going to the doctor's office and um, they uncertain about what's going on with them here. Yeah, something is heartbreaking here. Somebody going to be sad about some type of news. Three of swords, five of cups, some type of loss. Somebody might have to get a... a Somebody might have some type of diagnosis and they just going to watch, you know, like suffering with the three of swords and the page of swords, like watch themselves suffer. Or maybe somebody might tell their partner and they may, you know, be watching their partner just suffer for real from whatever sickness this is. But it just don't look good because whoever this is. Like, cause this might not be for everybody for real. You know what I'm saying? This is something demonic. This is something demonic. This is somebody who, yeah, look, chaos, five of wands. Somebody might even end up in the hospital after some type of fight. They may try to put some, they might fight somebody or try to put somebody in a hospital too. But there's a lot of chaos here. Or they may have, somebody might have gotten into some type of fight and they got to go to the hospital because they aching. Maybe somebody got jumped or something. Because it looked like, you know, a few people. But this ain't no good, though. Whatever this is, is demonic. <laughs> so it's like, it's like people thinking that they was being sneaky and getting away with stuff. For some of these people, they not getting away with nothing because it's attacking their health. They thought they was being sneaky and getting away with something, but uh-uh. So it's it's chaos going on within within their body since they was doing chaos on the you know pushing chaos to other people 
and demonic things trying to oppress other people with magic and shit. So it's going on within themselves. It's going on in their body. See, people be thinking they're going to get away with stuff, but no. These people got a lack of experience of playing with this devil magician shit. Because now it's taking a toll with inside of them. So they ain't getting away with nothing. And the Ace of Swords is out here. This is, yep, judgment at the top of the day. Judgment. Something going on with people's minds and mentals. Too. Like I told you, I see the Eight of Swords in my mind. But then I just seen the Seven of Cups behind that judgment. These people could be confused. Like I said, uncertain and confused about what's going on here. But... These things are happening. These things is going on because these people thought that they could be sneaky and shit. And now these people is panicking and worrying here. Some people is panicking and worrying because maybe somebody ain't really got insurance and they got to pay off. They got to come out their pocket panicking and worrying about their abundance, how they going to pay for whatever they need to pay for with whatever this is. How they even gonna pay for it? Mm -hmm. Somebody got some decisions to make. Two of Wands, Jugg like juggling a decision, waiting. Somebody is waiting. Something was hidden. Something could have been hot, hidden, and growing in a body too, as well. Something that's being illuminated. Something is being illuminated because it was something that somebody had the inability to see. Two of Swords. They was blind to whatever this is. Ooh, somebody also got something from somebody that they was in a partnership with. And this could have started some type of argument or whatever the case may be. Because something somebody was trying to hide something from their partner here. Because listen, yeah, somebody had a home with somebody and stuff. But somebody will be, you know, making plans with others and being thoughtless and careless and going by infatuation and going by when somebody called them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going balance it out. Look, make love with the lovers here. And judgment was called on it. But this person, yeah, this person was, man, this person was acting happy and communicating with everybody. Yeah, something came to an end because somebody, yeah, somebody could have, something could have came to an end and somebody retreated because somebody was spreading something. Within this relationship, somebody end up spreading something. Yeah. All of this extra activity and partying and all of that. And somebody could be uh, panicking and worrying about what they got. Because something being illuminated. And somebody was spreading something. Yep, nine of swords. Somebody is panicking and worrying here. Because something was hidden in somebody's body. Look, swing the deck, the three of swords with the nine of swords. Worried about what they didn't been spreading. Because something was hidden. This person was trying to hide something. Maybe it caused some type of fight or argument when somebody found out something. Maybe when they went to the uh to the uh doctors or the hospital too. But something was hidden. Mm -mm, karma whatever this is it's karma yeah it, it's these one of these people in this relationship or this this higher font commitment has something and it's being illuminated and it was the it was the it, it was the people who was in this commitment whoever was together
this man or this woman had something and gave it to the other in this relationship. Something is karmic. A karmic lesson. Karmic lesson. Something could have been slowly growing or something like that with this Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you. Somebody got something from their partner. But all of this is karmic, though. All of it. Up, whoever they share a home with, whoever they laid a foundation with, gave them something. And then we got karmic justice. It could be something deadly with the death and the tower, something deadly and unexpected. Like, bam. Ooh, we. And they still walking around like everything fine, celebrating and shit. This couple. Oh, this is karmic justice. For something these people could have celebrated before. These people attacked. These people attack somebody and and spread it things. About somebody to cause stress and burdens for them for their new beginnings. Now something spread in their damn body. For some it's a STD and for others it's a it's a disease. Somebody attacked and went against a star and something is spread and within them. They try to cause burdens and stress to a divine gift. So these individuals, something is transforming within them. And it looked like something deadly too. For some people, it's something deadly. For some, it's a STD. For some others, it's just something else that's deadly. Yeah, this is this is this is. Mm, mm, mm. They could have got it from uh, somebody in the past that they had a baby with or this pregnant or this person could be a mother. They could have like a foundation or a home or like I said, this is somebody who lied about a pregnancy or something. But it's a pregnancy somehow or a child that's here that's involved. Either this woman gave somebody something because she's showing up or this man. Gave this man something to trap his ass. Mm -hmm. But this is some type of karma for whatever this relationship is. This was somebody going through something in a relationship that somebody is with. And it is karma. But this is somebody who somebody had a home with, plan with, laid a foundation with made a girlfriend or wife and they could have got pregnant or conceived here whoever somebody celebrated with and whatever this pregnancy is it might end up getting sacrificed here or this was to make somebody stuck here with this hangman but it do say the two of swords something could have been blocked out but something is karma maybe this baby 
And then for some people, it ain't even a baby. For some people, it's a child. For some people, somebody getting karma because they tried to sacrifice a child too. That's why they ass sick in that damn hospital and shit. Hospital and shit. Because you were seeing what you was doing and what you was celebrating and what you was trying to do. You were being watched. Even if you're just being watched by the divine, you were seeing what you called in, that decision that you made, that opportunity that you tried to take, you were seeing. That money that you spent, you were seeing. And it's, it look, it's looking like the woman. You were seen in whatever you did. And you gonna regret it too. You spent the hefty bag too. You gonna regret it. Four of cups with the death in the tower. You might pass away. Somebody might end up passing away for what they called in. Look, called in. And then we got the queen of wands. So this is the queen of pentacles, queen of wands. Or this could be, you know, different people. Two of wands. Somebody traveled, you know, try to, you know, get some type of opportunity. Opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody definitely spent something in Four of Cups. They in regret here. They could have tried to take an opportunity from somebody too. And then we have the death and then we have the tower. There's something going to blow up in their face. And it's going to be, by the way, a death. If it's a slow death, if it's a death of somebody they love, if it's a child, a pregnancy, themselves, somebody going to be salty. Cause something blowing up in somebody's face trying to have control over what it's not for them to have control over but they did something to have that control and they stabbed somebody in the back that they shouldn't have stabbed in the back and it could have even have been more than one person that they stabbed in the back here and this knowledge of what they were doing they were seen and they think that they was not seen doing whatever they was doing here Look, they gonna be at a loss. Somebody gonna lose their life and partnership. It's a loss. And somebody might end up in jail too. Or a psych ward, like I said, because now I've seen it. Now I got to actually see the Eight of Swords. It's a, um, yeah, somebody did something spiritual. Somebody was messing in some shit with that hermit here. To get their satisfaction here. To get their wishes granted. Yep, they made they made a decision and they traveled and they backstabbed whatever the fuck they had to. And this is why they're gonna come to a complete end and complete ruin. And it's a masculine and a feminine, because I just seen a masculine. A masculine gonna be something going on with that that masculine's mind. And it's gonna be a lot going on with whoever this is. impulsive action communicated something with impulse so somebody gonna hit a dead end so it don't look like good news this is karmic and demonic not good news see people be thinking they can get away with stuff but it could hit you in another way and with that seven of swords coming out some short-term happiness it looks like let's go to the next part okay somebody is saying my baby daddy left me that's all I heard. My baby daddy left me. So let's see what's going on with that. My baby daddy left me. So what's going on with this? Oh, look, and at the top, the emperor, father figure. <laughs> Somebody, what's my baby daddy left me? My baby daddy left me. The emperor was right on top. I should have put that out because it's the father figure. Um, we gonna see what's going on here. What's going on with this? My baby daddy left me. Somebody worried because they getting pushed away here. Um. 
somebody's baby father could be pushing them away. They panicking about it. You know, they worried about it. They could be embarrassed. It can give them anxiety that their um that their baby daddy is leaving them or left them. Yeah. That this person could be um heading in a new direction overcoming obstacles maybe this maybe this man was slowly leaving already but was still celebrating with this person but it was still like a lot of confrontation this is the truth um and it was sex it was more like a sexual partnership it was getting sex from this person that's basically all it was a little kick it sex um, you know, type of partnership, but it was still empty. Five of Pentacles. Um, this man could want to date and communicate with somebody else. They want stability with somebody else, passion with somebody else. For some people, they could, for, for some people, it's another man that somebody about to get left for. Somebody, baby, dad about to leave them for it's another man. Yeah, this person thought that this baby mom thought that they was gonna complete what they started in the past here with this Knight of Pentacles, but. There's some type of tower here. Something unexpected happened here. These people could have went through a lot of past struggles, you know, in the past and things of that nature with each other. But this 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 dude didn't have mistresses and people on the side too. While even in the past here, that's what that's what the past struggles was. The women on the side. That this man was uh, always dealing with. Yeah, he was always communicating with him. Also, the uh, you know past struggles could have been about finances too as well and abundance here. Somebody could have been communicating um, to get somebody abundance too. Somebody could have been giving somebody abundance too as well here. Whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Abundance, three of cups, partying and but it was it was always some type of hidden intention. Hidden intentions, the moon. If this man was saying, Oh, this my friend, oh I got friends, no no no. Them that man had hidden intentions with them friends that he had. Everything was not fine. Sometimes them friends will cause this man to walk away and backstab and betray this woman. And be cold to her too, King of Swords. Yeah, this this person will start anew with these women here. Six of Wands, start anew. Or this woman will always start anew. If this woman has some friends and was like, they're my friends. But she always has some type of hidden intention. She was skilled at what she did. <laughs> skilled.
Yeah, something, uh, whatever happens, somebody going to end up, uh, things is going to balance out. There's, there's going to have to be some type of co-parenting here. And, you know, that co-parenting might have to be settled out in court if they can't balance it out between themselves. But whatever it is, is this person is still going to give and, um... Provide support, child support, and co parenting. That's going to be somebody new life. Child support and co parenting. Yep, that's it's something new. Star. That's going to be some somebody's new life. Somebody is going to be single. Nine of Cups. Like, yeah, somebody like my baby dad just left me. Somebody feels spiritually guided also to be single. Yeah, this man just want to be happy. He got goals that he trying to, you know, water and stuff like that, whoever. But somebody don't want to see this man happy. They want to block that out. They don't They don't want this man to be happy. Yeah, they don't, they don't want this man to be happy. See, this person could even be, this person could act like everything fine a little bit, but this person feel backstabbed and betrayed because it's like, <laughs> this person feel backstabbed and betrayed and could even be ready to fight. They really got something up their sleeve. Like, they really want to fight. Somebody could be like up in their head and they could want to end it all in this home. They up in their head and they could want to end it all because this person feels backstabbed and betrayed here. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Like, we supposed to be a family. We supposed to have this legacy and foundation. And you, you trying to be single. And you're being cold to me. And I feel like you jump into conclusions with trying to take this leap of faith to make these changes why are you trying to make these changes why are you manifesting to leave and manifest something new for yourself and healing why are you trying to make these changes i feel like you're being impulsive i feel like you're being cold so somebody feel backstabbed i feel like you just trying to run away and have a new, I feel like you're just trying to run away and have a new beginning and date somebody else. Knight of Cups. You trying to offer to somebody else. You trying to run away from me and you trying to offer to somebody else. You trying to run away from us. Because you want to date somebody else. You want something new with somebody else. You running away. You running away. Somebody gonna go crazy about this ending. I don't think it's gonna end well. Cause this person could even act a little bit cool, but I don't think this person gonna be cool. Somebody gonna go crazy. Somebody gonna lose their shit in the crib. Somebody gonna lose their shit at the crib. Yeah, you trying to offer and get into some commitment with somebody else. I killed that bitch. I'm just telling y'all what just ran across my mind. I killed that bitch. For some, this person like, I killed that bitch. Because they like, I'm holding on to you. Like demonic here. They go to the devil. I'm willing to take the risk for us. 
I'm willing to take the risk for us. I'm going to attack her. I'm going to attack her or I'm going to get her attacked. Somebody might even try to kill themselves and end up in the hospital or something might happen where this person go to the hospital and maybe have to. But this is a form of trying to hold on and be possessive too. This is demonic. Why this person end up in a hospital or whatever happened to this person. This is demonic. But this person could also threaten this other person. Like, or they even if they don't know that it's actually another person, it's just like if you go date somebody else or start something new with somebody else, I kill them. I'ma attack them. I'm really I'm willing to do whatever for us. Yeah, somebody even talking about traveling towards somebody. But judgment to be called if they do that shit. Some, but somebody was threatening somebody. For sure. Somebody was threatening somebody, whether they know the person or not. They was threatening them. And then also somebody could have did something to themselves. To where, you know, they ended up. Being in a hospital for something or needing to be taken care of. I'm telling y'all. You just want something new for somebody else. You think I'm stupid. You think I'm motherfucking stupid. If you try to have love, joy, and peace with somebody else and you think y'all gonna be safe, think not. Think not. If you let me go, I'm gonna lose my motherfucking mind. I'm ending everything. I'm ending everything. This person didn't even sacrifice this food. They don't care. I'm ending everything. What I say? I did that shit to death. It's gonna be some type of lost trauma or a heartbreak. This person to plan that shit out. They have planned that shit out. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody caught up in some shit. Somebody caught up in some shit. They'll be willing to dead this man with this death card. Yeah, something about the courthouse here. Somebody even talking about, oh, I'm going to take the money. Somebody talking about going to court. Oh, I'm going to get this money or whatever. Yeah, for this child. I'm going to take your money. I'm telling you. Concern. There's some concern here. There's even concern about the child here. Yep, look, lover. Bad health. Thief. Go and try to court somebody if you want to. I'm going to get you locked the fuck up. time this man do got somebody else on his mind but this man getting threatened by so many ways but it, it seemed like this man just left this man either already left anyway or this man gonna end up leaving anyway because all i heard was my baby daddy left me Yeah, this person concerned because they ain't gonna be a privileged lady in the community because they listen in the community with the kid they feel like they ain't gonna be that privileged lady anymore they're gonna have to toilet and labor and work so they like they'll do anything i get your ass locked up i kill her i kill you it's just been all types of threats but this man still might leave that's all I heard. My baby daddy left me. Yeah, 
but you tripping, tripping. Yeah, this person want to bark on a new journey here that they just constantly always think about here. This person is in despair and concern here. Message of concern. They're concerned about maybe what they were already in or they're concerned about somebody else getting married. Ooh, this lover could have even tried to gift this man with some type of bad health, too. Something going down in court. Something crazy. This is crazy. Well, whoever situation this is, hell no. Nah. Hell to the no. Nah. Somebody is concerned about meshing. Somebody in despair. And then we got judgment. Judgment is being called on something. Either way it go, adjudication. Anything that this person tried to do to keep this baby dad, there's going to be some type of message of judgment here. And it's going to be traumatizing and heartbreaking because anything that this person tried to do, if this person tried to have a baby, if this person tried to get this person a disease, if this person threatened to harm everybody in any type of close radius, it don't matter. Judgment is still being called on this. And it looked like this man going to still make that decision to leave this person regardless of whatever they tried to do. And that's judgment. But this is heartbreaking, though, because whoever this is, is wild. You got to be careful about who you choose to deal with because somebody crazy. Somebody crazy is hell. Mm -mm. You're going to go ahead and get a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for, for judgment to be called and decisions to be made. And it looks like somebody might end up getting getting a freedom. Look, split in the deck. For I know the plans I have for you, declares Yahweh, plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. So, yeah, somebody going to have hope for the future. Yahweh will gen generously provide all you need. And that's good. That can be for all of these messages because there's some type of justice and judgment and information and, you know, knowledge being provided. So let's go ahead and get some grateful heart message here. Yep. Look, light is being shed on some stuff here. Light is shed upon the righteous and joy upon the upright in heart. Let every let everything that breathes sing praises to Yahweh. <laughs> Commit everything you do to Yahweh. Trust trust him and he will help you. See, the divine is helping people out here. It says, give thanks to Yahweh for he is good. His love endures forever. And then we have here. Yep, some people are getting saved. Y'all know my Psalms 18. That's my save. You getting saved from the binds of the devil, from being bounded by the devil. Yahweh is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my Yahweh, my strength in whom I will trust. Give your burden to Yahweh and he will take care of you. So the divine is coming to help and take care of his people. Great is our Yahweh. His understanding is infinite. Bottom of the deck. Surely Yahweh is my help and Yahweh is the one who sustains me. So I hope you all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. It was 1.33.33 on the timer. Uh, for this read, if you make it all the way down to this part, uh, check the description because I'm going to put, cause it's going to be too long for me to, cause you only get a hundred characters to put the title down. I'm going to put psychic dreams, check the description too, as well in the title, but you have to read the description because I'm a, you know, I'm going to put something in about every segment, um, of the read because it is different messages. I don't know the timers. I should have been looking at the timer. To talk about each one, but I, I wasn't. I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe next time if this happened again somehow. And I'm going to also do, because I always write down uh, my dreams and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of these uh, more often, too, to break them down. Because it could definitely be for somebody, too, as well. Um, 
I'm gonna do a few more of these as well. But I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.